Come on, sisters. It's dinner time. Come on in with that Hollywood hood, girl. Woo! Come on in, y'all. Let's do this thing. Come on, y'all, to the movie. Y'all see what it is? Y'all already know. Uh, Waste not, won't not. And eating good voice. For real, for real. Still. Y'all, my camera's a little... Uh, it's cutting my head off, but... Okay. <laughs> yeah, the movie is The Low Boy. Once again, two time, two time. Hey. Okay, y'all. Uh, yeah, that's nothing more, but uh, it's November. <laughs> uh, this is scene four, take two, because this is the second time we eat this Low Boy. Let's roll the tape. Come on in, y'all. Bring your Kool Aid, your cocktail, your water. Bring your food and snack. Let's sit and chat with who? This hood girl to the hood. Hey, y'all. Uh, let me start this uh, camera. I'm mean, not the camera. <laughs> this top. Let's say prayers. Thank you, Father God, for this food I'm about to eat. May it bring nourishment to my beautiful and healthy body. My God, have mercy upon this presidential thing. Let your will be done in it, Lord. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen and amen. Y'all, this uh, president stuff, does y'all have anxiety? Because I don't. Look here, y'all. Thank you for sticking a stand. This is for you. Salute to my hoodsters. Hey, y'all. So, salute, salute. Let's sip, sip this good hood stuff. Cheers. Mm -hmm. But that'll do. We about to eat. Because let me tell y'all. Oh, some of y'all don't like the hot sauce, huh? Oops. Yeah, that bowl is hot. I want to share with you guys first before I put all that hot sauce on here. Here y'all. Here you go. That's that hood girl low boy, y'all. What you know about that? I tell you, uh, this is actually the third time that I ate it. I just didn't do the video because I, I didn't want to. You y'all already know leftovers are just so good. So anyway, y'all, cheers. Now the hot sauce, y'all. Let me tell y'all something. <laughs> I cut that TV off. I don't want to hear no more about re recounting. Y'all, this is the first time that we've gone through this. I think it's foolish. Take your loss and go home. And some of them poor people are, are like, why? We have always been effective for all the votes. All the years. Why now? Y'all. I'm going to leave that there. Y'all know. I don't like to push my political views on y'all. But. Can I be. Gonna be honest and transparent. This is bullshit at worst. I said that. Here, now take that coin. Mm -hmm, and that that celery, that piece of celery fell. Y'all, you know, I'm going to say this again. Y'all probably already heard it, but I don't care. Because when you come to the hood table, we're going to chit and chat. Some things we're going to talk about, and some things we just going to blah, 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 and blah, 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 blah. <laughs> but thank you for coming. <laughs> Y'all. Mm, 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 mm. Mm. I'm the second child 
from the five that my mother had. And y'all know I'm the only one that go see her and talk to her a lot. So now that she's not mad, we talk more. One day, 45 minutes. One day, 46 minutes. One day, 25 minutes. Just now, I had to get off my phone, 26 minutes. I said, Mother, I'm about to eat and do my video, baby, and my food is getting cold. <laughs> mm. Mm. Damn. That is good, y'all. Did I tell y'all that, uh, here, y'all take a sausage. I think I put too many of them in the bowl. Mm -hmm. And they're beef. Um, uh, Hmm. Did I tell y'all that last Saturday when I went to go see Mother, I surprised her. I did not tell her I was coming. And I knocked on that door and she was so surprised. So my daughter said, well, hello, Mother. <laughs> I didn't tell her I was coming. But anyway, I asked her a question, right? And I have to ask it a couple of times because she act like she ain't not stand. I said, does it bother you that you have five children? Does it bother you that nobody likes to come and see you? She started a whole nother conversation, y'all. I heard. Mother, that's not what I said. Have y'all heard this before? <laughs> uh oh. Well, it was on my mind, so I got hit again. We at the table. And this is where we talk. So I, I rephrased it. And I said, Mother, I'm going to go ahead. Have you noticed that I'm here? Do you, are, are, are you mad that, or do you think about why your other children don't like to come and spend time with you? She said, Nita, because you're the only one that come. Yes, that, okay, okay, we got that. I said, do you wonder why, mama? But I said, do you wonder why, mother? She said, well, hell, I don't know. I didn't do nothing to nobody. I, was, I had to laugh, y'all. Because I'm thinking, she really oppressed it like I did. All the pain and hurt she caused on me, I oppressed it. Mm -hmm. I believe she oppressed it. I really do. I believe she don't remember. What she did, what she done to us. Why the others don't like to spend time with her or even call her, you know? Y'all, I have a conscience, though. I don't care what my mama did to me. I forgave her. She is still my mama and she getting old. Dirt. She needs somebody. Even though she said, I don't need no goddamn body. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. But my counselor, when I went into my therapy sessions, she, she really helped me as well because she uh, had me to set boundaries because mother is mean. But the boundaries that I set are really good for the both of us. And I say that because 
And if she want to be mean, I'm not going to allow her to be mean because I'm going to get up and go and I'm going to leave. At first, I gave her five times to be negative. And then I took it down to three. I'm not going to sit here and take your abuse. I'm 57 now. I don't have to do that, ma'am. So, it really does help. I think it helps both of us. You know? Mm. Y'all, that juice is good. Mm. Mm. <clears throat> that is delicious. And it helps us, y'all. Because I can leave and we're not quarreling. It's a beautiful thing for me and for her, I think. But sometimes I think she think about and she, because, oh, well, I can only speak for me. But I'm telling you all something, I'm transparent now. If my children didn't want to hang around me, if my children didn't call me, I'm going to be ringing that phone like, what, what the hell, what the hell? I mean, I know that our children grow up. I know they get girlfriends and wives and children and they have to do their life. I get that. I know that and I respect that. But I got to hear from you at least once a week, if not twice. Because <laughs> I'm selfish. So, y'all remember that middle son I talked about last week? Mm hmm. He on something. Not drugs, y'all. <laughs> he on something about his life. His life. Uh huh. So, because he lives. Like a little over an hour from everybody. He always used the excuse. Man, it's just too far to drive. Mama, you know I'm an hour and some away. Dude, it ain't like your ass come every freaking weekend once a goddamn month and you can't. I said, I told him this a, a couple of weeks ago. We had a long conversation. I said, let me, <coughs> let me tell you something, homeboy. When I die, when God says my job is done, he take me home, don't you come into my funeral and cry because if I had one breath, I'm going to get up and slap your ass. Your only excuse, because you live too far. Right now, my sissy moved, because y'all know she got a brand new home. And, and so she is 55 minutes from me. Now, if that was a wreck or some traffic, it's going to be way longer. But who the hell cares? I don't um, go visit her every day or every weekend. But the drive is pleasant, I have to say that. Because I go down them country streets, you know. Mm -hmm. No, country roads. Well, I'm a country girl at heart. And although I do spend the night. <laughs> but the fact of the matter is, no life is promised to us for longevity. All of our life and our days are numbered. We don't know where we're going to be. We don't know what we're going to be doing. And we don't know how old we're going to be when God says, okay, well, child, my, well done, my child, I'm going to take you home. We don't know. We don't know the last day of our lives. 
So I encourage my family. I really do. Look here. We don't have to see each other every freaking day, but once a freaking month is suffice. Don't always wait until somebody die to come together. Why do we black people do that stupid stuff? We come together like flies on a pile of shit when somebody die. Thinking that the shit tastes good. But we can't celebrate our lives together at least once a month. And if that's too much shit, once every other month. Y'all, I ain't got time for that. I really don't. I was at David them house this past weekend, my oldest son. And, uh, you know, Nick and them lost their first cousin. Y'all remember in, in the tragedy of, of somebody killed him, right? Shot him 11 times and he died. But they had the same concept when I was there on last Sunday. They said, well, Nikki and her other cousin, they put together like, you know, once a month. We're going to get together. We ain't going to tell y'all what to bring, but bring something. Let's celebrate each other. And I have to get up, y'all, and speak. That's, that, cause that's, that's, my, that's my passion. I have to get up and speak. I tell you, I had everybody looking at me because it's, that's the truth. If you can't cook, that ain't no excuse not to bring your ass to your family. Stop at, figure out what everybody cooking. Buy, buy a bag of rolls. Buy a cake. Buy a pie. Buy uh, two six packs of soda water. Buy, buy a fruit tray, a veggie tray. It's simple, but people make excuses why they won't do it. That means you don't want to do it. Y'all, just, just as I, just, just as, just as I was talking, my camera, I mean, my time is out. So y'all understand what I'm saying, right? So look here, we don't have time for that. Our families, our brothers, sisters, first cousins, second cousins, third cousins, if you have some aunties and uncles and whatever, if they are alive, try to do something and not just at death. Because when we walk in those funeral homes or the churches where their body is laying in the front, they're gone. Gone. They can't hear they can't see you. They can't hug you. They can't do anything. So we got to fix that, y'all. We, 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 really, we really have to fix that. So look at my, my uh, camera about to uh, go off. So let's see. Look here. Let's sing ourselves out. Cheers, y'all, to be better. Mm -hmm. It's time to say goodbye for now. We have another chance around on the other side. So whatever you do this day, this day, do it with good, good, do it good, do it with purpose and do it with what? Genuine love, baby. Peace out, my kings and queens. Love you.